Hello everybody, this is Gregory with 5-Minute Catholic Apologetics, where 5 minutes of your time may get you to the divine. Today we're going to talk about the beauty and simplicity and applicability of the pastoral letters of St. Paul. Now before we begin, let's start with a prayer. Namen a pantri sit filiat spiritu sancti, amen. Gloria pantri filiat spiritu sancto, secuturam principio, et nuc et semper, et seculae seculorum. All right, so I do have a playlist on the New Testament where I do an episode on every book in the New Testament, kind of just giving the context, the history, the backstory, and so forth. So I'll put a, a, a link in the in the banner, a banner in this episode for that. So the pastoral letters are First and Second Timothy and a letter to Titus. These are all written by by Saint Paul, likely sometime in the mid '60s during his first captivity. He was uh, under loose captivity in the early 60s, and then he was likely released, and then he was probably went to the western part of the, the Roman Empire. We do know it mentioned in Romans that his, his plan or intention to go to Spain, so maybe he went to Spain during this time. And then eventually he again was uh, captured, and he was martyred during the time of Nero, who was beheaded. But I find First and Timothy and Titus just to be great little letters for a couple reasons. And I do have an episode where I kind of rank my favorite books of the New Testament. And for me, there are certain books that are just more approachable and more readable than others. And it doesn't mean like that they're not equally good. Of course, they're all just divinely inspired. They're the principal authors, Holy Spirit. But just in terms of just approachability, I find like, uh, Hebrews to kind of be a boring book and I, I can't really find a lot of applicability to it I can't really connect to it whereas maybe if you look at Corinthians first Corinthians which is my favorite of the epistles simply because it's so Catholic and it just just so much nuggets in it uh, but it's 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 geared toward a general audience and it's covering kind of a variety of topics in particular immorality uh, that's going on, pagan infiltration of the early church in Corinthians. He said that about Second Corinthians. And I understand, like, all these epistles have, like, a certain context and a certain audience. So if you look at the Thessalonian epistles, Paul's trying to quell the anxiety and fear of the early church over there because the early church believes that the end times is coming very soon. And so he's trying to tell them to chill out. The signs aren't there. Still, some of the Thessalonians uh, were, were quitting their jobs. So you see those great lines about you know work if you're not working you don't deserve to eat bread and then you look at something like galatians galatians was written about uh the judaizers fighting against the judaizers which were kind of like a heretic that believed a heretic that believed that uh, you should still ascribe to mosaic law and be circumcised and so forth but as opposed to the epistles that are directed to a general community the pastoral letters are written to timothy and they're written to titus and so when you read them, I find them to be very approachable because essentially Paul is just giving advice. And he's, he's telling Timothy and Titus on how to run a good church. He's giving Timothy and Titus advice on how to pick good people to run the church. He's just giving really good advice on a variety of things. If you look at 1 Timothy, 1 Timothy talks about qualifications that a bishop should have, qualifications that a deacon should have. Just really good nuggets, right? They shouldn't, they shouldn't be uh, drinking. They should have good relations with their children. Uh, they should be upstanding people of character. You see also in 1 Timothy, Paul giving advice about the rich. This is where you get the love of money is the root of all evil. He talks about how, how wealth can corrupt you. He also gives advice later in the epistle, and that epistle is short, it's only like six chapters, on what kind of is the onus of the wealthy to do with the money that they have. So again, it's, it's God doesn't hate wealthy people. It's how wealth can corrupt you and what you need to do with that wealth. Also in Timothy, he talks about widows and women, like how women should comport themselves so like for example young women should who are widowed for example should remarry and older women should take care of their family and be taken care of by their family so he kind of gives advice about that 
and, and Titus is the same thing. He's given vi- advice on Titus about how, how to run the church and, and, and so forth. So I just find these three epistles, all of which are very short, very approachable and very easy to read. And they just have a lot of nuggets in it. And, and in that vein, I would also put James. I find James to be very readable and kind of in the same line uh, with the pastoral letters. And I'd also find probably 1 John to, uh, to be another epistle that is kind of in the similar vein. Just very readable and very approachable and just a lot of good stuff to read. So my humble advice in closing that if, if you don't read the epistles often, maybe you only read the Gospels, uh, my advice to you is start with, with 1 Timothy. Uh, don't, you don't necessarily have to start with the, 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 the epistles that are the most theologically dense and important. And I would say like Romans, of course, is important in First Corinthians. But start with the most more approachable ones. And I would say that First Timothy is very approachable and James is very approachable and First John. I'd probably start with those three, but definitely check out the pastoral letters if you don't read them. Guys, post in the comments. I'd love to hear from you. How often do you read the epistles and what do you think of, of the pastoral letters? Hit the notification, subscribe, and share button. Until next time, take care. God bless and pray. Mm-hmm.